Hi, right, I'm doing a review on the Sun Tigrid uh, model uh, Sun 500G, 500 watts. It's supposed to be 500 watts tops, and the instruction says 450 watts. Let's see how much you can put out and uh, what's the max will give, and uh, how much we're gonna lose, and uh, see how efficient. It is. Okay, this is the Tigrid inverter, the one side. The other side, and here here's the inside. I noticed whenever you get it, make sure all these are tight. I noticed. Okay. I noticed this one. See this one. This one's loose. So before you try it, make sure they're all tight. This one's also loose. It's got a 20 amp, 20 amp car fuse. Case is grounded. Got this yellow wire to the board here. It's grounded to the corner inside. I have four panels. They're supposed to be. I don't. I'm not sure how much, how much they are. I got them as 100 watt panels. Uh, I purchased uh, 20 of them, uh, but I have to finish the rest. Uh, I got to frame them, put the junction box, and a lot of stuff. Anyway, there are 72 cells, and uh, their cell is uh, five by five. They're supposed to be 100 watts, but they're giving out around 130, 120 watts, so maybe they're 150. Okay, right now I'm gonna plug in one of these and let's see how much this uh, Tigrid gives out. Okay, we're getting uh, 216, 22, 20, 100, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna put 120 watts in the input and on the output we have 97, 97. Now it went up to 100, the fan turned off. Now this is my second test. The first test, I had this uh, extension cord. Uh, I used it as a DC. It's a 12 gauge, It's uh, I think it's 50 foot. I grabbed all my DC from the panels and I moved it to the table over there because I, I was in the shade. But when I got to the fourth panel, I realized the, the input was going down. So in the input, instead of having 480, I was getting 360 something so I knew I was losing DC on the input of the of the Tigrid so I, I wasn't going to be able to, to get good numbers. I moved the Tigrid to the back so I'm getting the current, I'm getting the voltage right off the panels and I'm using the extension cord to the outlet so let's see what the numbers are right now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, plug in the second panel and okay we got are. the second panel plugged in we got two panels, it's supposed to be 240 around there and panels are giving out right now 245 245 watts 245 in the input and the output we have 214 214 watts let's uh, go ahead and plug in uh, the third panel and see what the numbers okay, are. Okay, I got the third panel in Third panel, so it's supposed to be 360 watts in the input. We are getting 353. I know you can't see it. 354, 355 watts. 354, 355 in the input. And we have 297, 298, 299, 300. We have 300 watts in the output, max. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in uh, the fourth panels and, and okay, see now I have what the all are. four panels. It's supposed to be 480 watts in the input. Let's see how much we have. We have 462 watts input, 31 volts. It's at 14.7 amps. 461, 462 watts in the input. And the output we have. 383, 
384 okay so it didn't go out much Four sixty-two, four sixty-one. Okay, now I have the grid tie inverter hooked up to the outlet. It's off with no load. Uh, trying to see if I can get a readout on the standby, and it's showing zero on the instructions. It says uh, it's at point five watts. Uh, this thing is pretty accurate, so if it would have been one watt or two watts, it will show there. So it's probably less than a watt. Uh, Compared to the power jacks I've seen, uh, they they talk about a lot that you got to unplug them because they take a lot of current. Well, I don't I don't see this one taking any while it's not working. Okay, this is a, a chart I made for the readout of the of the test we had. Um, this row right here is the number of uh, panels of uh, solar panels. This one is the first test. This is a DC input voltage going to the this is a, the this is the output of the first test. So with one panel, we got 118 input watts, and we got 104 output on AC current. Now, when we jump to the second test, on this on the first test, these numbers on the first test, I was running a hundred foot extension cord from the panels to the tie grid. It's a 12 gauge. So I was carrying my DC, I was carrying my DC voltage on that on that extension, and uh, I was losing a lot. When I came down to the last panel, uh, I was supposed to be getting around 460 or 480 on the input. And I was get, I was only getting 362. I realized I was losing between my panels and the input of the of the inverter so that's when I, I decided to make the other the other test now on this other test numbers might change it might be different uh, for some other people because on this one I took I took the voltage directly from the back of the panels I had my tiger in the back and then I had to put an extension cord that same extension cord is 12 gauge and 100 foot to the nearest AC, AC plug so uh, on that one, uh, on the first panel, I got 120 watts input, 105 output, and then 245. With one panel, we got the 87.5 efficiency. Now this is based on the second readout, okay? Not on this one. Uh, with two panels, I got 87.3 efficiency. With three panels which is at around 300 watts we got 84.7 efficiency and with four panels uh, we got output of uh, 383 uh, we got 82.8 efficiency this is the difference right here this is the difference between the input and the output so with one panel we lose 15 watts in two panels we lose 31 in three panels we lose 54 watts and in four panels we, use, uh, we lose uh, 79 watts uh, the way I'm going to use them, I have 20 panels, so I might tie them individually. Two panels for one tie grid of these. So I'm probably going to be using them at 214 watts, 245 input. Uh, it's the best efficiency I saw, uh, 87.3. Uh, that's what I come up. I hope uh, this uh, helps you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, I will be doing this on uh, Sun 300 that I also have. And uh, thank you for watching.